uh, that every bull run starts with a spark of capital inflows, something that excites those watching enough to cause FOMO. As a result of that FOMO, uh, traders uh, and, and paper holders get emotional about holding this damn coin that just does nothing, all while watching others straight line up, then dump their positions at magically the wrong time. And it's not about capturing the first wave of face-melting profits. It's about using that as an indicator to see how these things have actually worked out. There is one catch, however. Um, you should only attempt this if you understand in order for this process to be successful, it must be observed and executed with little people or construction immersion. Also, don't listen to social media either or you will almost certainly fail. And capital flows down just like water. That being the case, I'm going to tell you what we do know. But every bull run that preceded us began with Bitcoin grinding up to the Fibonacci 0 0.50 mark. It was only when BTC crossed that mark that things got exciting. The 1517 bull run will be the main focus of this article due to a word count cap. Uh, since the bear market lows, Bitcoin has been the safest bet uh, until the 50 Fed. Uh, after that, we have to monitor our radar uh, for what is technically broken out uh, across cap stocks and have BTC's gains in the same time frame. Uh, rotate your allocated trading amount into it without excuses, no hodling based on feelings. Um, there were the aim, etc. This is not so much about that as it is about um, the current eyes on them. Um, also, just like Solana, this cycle um, and Ethereum, this cycle shaft built. You know, I think we have a lot of state that um, state of. And after that, I scale profits into the fundamentally strongest large and medium caps. And currently, the ETH and DTC reversal since writing price is broken out. Indicates that indicates that the design is an evidence within the family, the ones to watch at the moment, as seen in the chart below. Um, and then, fortunately, with some trading education and experience, the timing of these things becomes much less of a guessing game. So, if you study Elliott's wave analysis, Wyckoff schematics, uh, trading volume, etc. Uh, when done correctly, as seen in the chart below, uh, you can be on the bleeding edge of these runs, which leads to a very happy trading account. Uh, where I move the weight to next has been a clear uh, Fibonacci extensions uh, of the runners, which I've gauged from their prior movements. Uh, in this place, uh, I've seen it too uh, many times to not understand and value that history may not repeat. Uh, but it often rhymes. Uh, you can most easily identify the next runners uh, via their technical breakouts that took place as uh, Bitcoin crept up the FIB scale and corrected at the major POIs as seen on uh, the chart below. Uh, but this mechanic runs down the line all the way through small caps, micro caps, NFTs, etc. Uh, the way to catch massive gains is relatively easy in a bull market if you're in it from the beginning. Um, the next trick is to keep profits and uh, to retain profits. Uh, there are a number of ways to gauge targets as I mentioned before with Fibonacci extensions, volume paired with weekly candles, uh, sentiment, fibs, Elliott's waves and white cost well distribution schematics are more than enough to come out of each run with suitcases of profit. Um, so if that's something that's important to you, um, either take the time that put the work in to learn for yourself or always be at the whim of others' advice. All right, so there is... Uh, if you're interested in what I'm doing uh, and, and when, uh, keep a lookout on NewsBTC or follow me on Twitter for uh, breakout and other relevant charts when I release them. As the run continues, or DM me if you want to learn. I'll leave you with a few warnings that I've tried to share with my students and people close to me, which are spoken from experience. 
and only stated in hopes that these words will protect anyone. Reading this from the same hard lessons I and everyone I know in this place have found out the hard way, at least once. And when you feel invincible, take profits. When your extended family or friends start asking for your advice on buying crypto, take profits. And inversely, when they tell you to be sell, don't. Finally, one of the most useful pieces of advice I've learned is only ever aim for the meat of the move, not the exact top.